This video shows how to make an enhanced uh, hillshade vis visualization in QGIS so that we can really see the features in our terrain. We're starting here with just a basic DEM of Benton County uh, near the Yakima River. Uh, in this DEM, uh, both the XY units and the vertical units are in meters, so this represents a maximum of 770 meters. Uh, because our XY units and our vertical units match, the Z factor here is 1, which would be a, appropriate to know as we run things out of the processing toolbox. So let's open that toolbox here and run the Hillshade tool first of all, just to get uh, kind of an artistic view of the terrain. I will leave the defaults here and just save to a temporary layer. So we've got our basic looking Hillshade here uh, showing features in the terrain, but we can make this look much nicer. Uh, one thing we're going to do is just use the DEM beneath. Uh, so I'll turn off the hill shade and let's apply some color here. So I'm going to change the properties of this DEM uh, and instead of single band gray I'm going to change this to single band pseudo color and I'm going to choose this uh, green to brown color ramp here. If this is not selected by default you can choose it here. Uh, I'm going to also uh, make sure I invert this uh, because I want green to be the lower elevations and the brown to be the higher elevations. So you might have to play around with that a bit but when you get the uh, the right color ramp that you want on there then you can put the hill shade on top and let's make it partially transparent. So for that we're going to go to the properties and change the transparency. We're going to set it at 40 percent opaque meaning 60 percent transparent. So this allows us to see uh, the artistic rendering of the hill shade with that color from the DEM coming up through and, and emphasizing. Now there's one more trick we can do to emphasize kind of these canyons in the landscape. Uh, to do that we're going to use the slope tool. So we're, we'll make a slope layer not from the hill shade but from the DEM itself. So make sure you change that to the DEM. Uh, if your XY units are not the same as your uh, vertical units or height units, you'll need to change the Z factor. Otherwise, you can leave it at 1. In our case, we can leave it at 1. By default, this comes out as being symbolized from uh, dark to light. I'm going to change that coloring here and go to the symbology. I'm also going to change it to single band pseudo color, but I'm just going to identify the gray tones here uh, to use. So we'll click OK. Now we've got the darker areas that emphasize the slope. Uh, what I want to do is make this one really close to transparent but not quite. So I'm going to go in the properties of this layer and change the transparency so that it's uh, only 20% opaque. It's 80% transparent. Now uh, this is what this has done is really emphasize these gouges that are carved out on the landscape. If I turn the slope on and off uh, you can see what it's done here to the layer. And if you don't like how uh, bold this is, you can change the transparency even more and play around with it. Uh, so here's my final enhanced terrain layer. You can really see the nice river channels here and these features. Uh, we could even get a cool 3D view of this if we do view and choose a new 3D map view. What I want to do here is put the terrain, uh, the DEM underneath and pop it out or extrude it so I can see what this looks like in 3D. Uh, so I'm going to change from flat terrain to DEM and choose that Q2244 DEM layer. Uh, what this allows me to do is I can take my scroll wheel mouse and drag and I can see this in 3D. So getting a better look at some of these features on the landscape. Being able to get a nice visualization. I could also drape vector layers on this and so forth. 